It's the day before Grudge Kings. We're here at Sydney Dragway for a private test day. Now, behind me is Steve Bazina's XW, which we've had on the, the cover of the mag going back a couple of years now. But uh, Frank from Danny Engines made some, some pretty serious changes have gone on under the skin of this thing in recent times. Yeah, it's not your average four-door family sedan anymore, but um, that's, the good thing is it still looks like that, and that's what we like about it. Awesome, and talk us through the changes, mate. Well, we had the small block in it, and we did good. We had fun. We went um, 708 or 707 at like 203 mile an hour, but we just couldn't keep blocks together, and we split a block in half, and did the sums and worked it out and said, look, you know, you can't go past like one of those Proline billet 481Xs and it was a no-brainer from there. It was like, we, we must do it. And no one's done it before, so it was going to be interesting to do. And what sort of engineering and fabrication changes were required to get that sort of motor into this thing? Oh, the handiwork from Joe and Jonathan from uh, ProFab in Wollongong. They worked their magic and you know made it fit. It was we had to remove the front tower, shocker towers, um, and make it a strut front end just to give us more room because I mean just the pipe that comes out of the head is two and a half inches, so it's it's a large pipe just to begin with. Yeah, sure. So now, mate, it's it's only early days with the new setup, but I, I think I saw this thing run a seven one at one hundred and seventy odd mile an hour earlier today with the chutes pulled fairly early, so serious potential. Yeah, he was off the gas pedal at five point five seconds and went like, if I wasn't mistaken, it was like a yeah, it was a five uh, seven one that was like one hundred and thirty mile an hour or something. Right. So it shows, look, the half track numbers show us it's going to easily run a six and. We don't have a lot of boost in it yet because we've only got a, a small tyre and a leaf spring, so it's not just as easy as putting the big motor in there and going all out. We've just got to finesse it. And thanks to Jamie Miller from uh, Race Cars and uh, from Pro, he's a Proline tuner. He's come out and given us all the uh, the tricks to make it work. So awesome. And and tell us about that. Like, what's involved in getting this much horsepower to stick with awesome cart suspension and two seven fives? Well, it's that's the beauty. I mean. The fuel tech ECU computer, it just has so many various ways of controlling power management and it's that's what it's all about. It's it's basically finessing, um, it retards timing, it does everything that we needed to do just to control the tyre going down the track. Awesome. And have Steve and yourself got any goals in mind for the car where you want it to end up ET wise and, and how do you want to anything you want to achieve tomorrow at Grudge Kings? Look, it would be a fairy tale story if he won it based off the fact that you know he's worked so hard we've all worked so hard to get the car done and, I mean Joe literally took a month to do the transplant um, and then it took another month to paint the car and put it all back together and fire it up at the shop and get it here so it's, it's been a big ordeal but anything that happens at Grudge Kings is just a bonus because we made it here and you know we want to support the Grudge Kings because it was a great event it's it's the first 50k win in Australia so it's really only a, a, a test day today so there's plenty of people who will be here tomorrow who aren't here today and there's already a, a real buzz about the place and some pretty serious cars in the pits oh the, the atmosphere is incredible I mean it's only a test day today and there's over 50 odd cars and it's like where, did, where else do you go in the, you know in Australia to see that awesome mate well congrats to Steve and yourself and everyone else involved in the car it looks fantastic and uh, all the best for tomorrow thank you